You know, when I first read the description about enterprise facilitation, I, I said to myself, no way. You know, this really can't be real. And then I started reading about the successes. Nine out of ten businesses started using this model are successful. The really great thing about enterprise facilitation is that it's completely free. My salary is paid so that I can put all my energy into helping my client. Enterprise facilitation and the enterprise facilitator is really pretty unique. Uh, what I offer to anyone within my service area in Central Oregon is a free and confidential business service. I help existing business owners and uh, potential entrepreneurs who want to start something up in Oregon get it going. Um, I'm a little bit different because I actually sit hand in hand with a person or I should say walk hand in hand with a person through the process of opening a small business. So what I come to find out is that the even neater part of this project is not only do I get to go around helping people start small businesses, but there's the second half to enterprise facilitation that's our community mentoring network. And it's a group of about 50 people from within the five counties that we serve, which touches from the, the Columbia River to the John Day River, all the way down into Deschutes County, over to the Warm Springs Reservation. It's this giant area. So I'm meeting 50 people who want their communities to be a better place with sustainable businesses. They want their kids to have a place to stay and work. It's just unbelievable. There's this, this group of people who are working towards this one goal, making Central Oregon a nicer place to be. And it's already pretty nice. This is it. These are the people I get to meet. This is what Oregon's about. Can I remind you that it's Wednesday? <laughs> it's Wednesday at coffee break time for most you know, business people, and here we've got 30 people floating down the river laughing hysterically. So the neat thing about this mentoring network is that they are going to, each one of them, introduce me to their friends and family. So all of a sudden, I'm being embraced by this community that's, that's 250 miles across. Every single little town I walk into it now, because I've met people's mothers and their friends and their church leader or their club president, I walk into towns and people go, oh, hey, Greg, how you doing? I've been here for a month and a half, and it's like I've grown up here my whole life. Um, that group of people, not just the mentoring network, but that group, that those resources and people that that mentoring network knows, that's the support system for these small businesses. It, it's it's barn raising small businesses is what Soroli Institute describes it at, and it's really true. We each need to get behind one another to be successful. So what I do when a client calls me, someone who has an idea, could be a crazy idea that everyone in their family has told them they're nuts, it would never work as a business, they can call me. Once they call me, I'm going to sit down with them and go, okay, what do you love to do? What's your passion about? Once they describe it to me, my sole goal is to find a way to make that dream happen for them. We're going to look, we're going to talk to their friends, we're going to talk to their family, we're going to try and fill the resources they need, we're going to put a team together of people from within their small community who's going to help them. If we can't find resources within that small community, this large community is going to wrap around them and say, okay, we'll help you find the resource. So someone in Warm Springs needs someone to help them with marketing, there might be somebody way over here in Grass Valley who has the skills. Six months ago, it would be hard to connect it to. Today, we can do it in one two-hour meeting. Like that, we've got the resources to help someone. So what I can really do for an entrepreneur is give them support, give them some management coaching, and connect them to the existing small business resources within the greater community, as well as provide them personal resources of our mentoring network within the greater community. The really great thing about enterprise facilitation is that it's completely free. My salary is paid so that I can put all my energy into helping my clients. The other key factor is it's confidential. Anything that I'm told by a client stays here, stays with me. If we need the help of our mentoring network, every one of those people in the mentoring network signs a confidentiality agreement 
the process relies on the fact that you can trust us. Once that trust is broken, the trust in the project is broken and there's no future. So everyone on board knows that. Everyone on board this project knows that your business is really just that, your business. So you've gotten to the point where you've, you've started your business or thought about the idea and you're going to go open this up. Let me tell you a little story about my history. I'm a great cabinet maker. I'm proud of what I do. I'm really good at selling what I do. I'm awful at balancing my checkbook. But when I opened my business, I had to do all three of those things. I had to build the product, I had to market the product, and I had to deal with taxes, balancing my checkbook, meeting payroll. It's three jobs. It's what the Soroli Institute calls the Trinity of Management. You're one person starting a business. If you're like me, you're going to run into the same problem I ran into. I was up until midnight doing books, paying taxes, worrying about those things. And you know what suffered? I did that job half as well as I should. I did the marketing job, therefore, a quarter as well as I should. And my cabinet making suffered because I didn't have any time to do it. So if you're like me, you're going to think that you can do this all yourself. But what I need to do is I need to hold that mirror up to you and say, listen, there's no need for you to do this all yourself. There are people out there who love doing different parts of that trinity of management. Let's find a team of people. Let's let you have the time to do what you love. Put 100% of your energy into that. Our project will help you find the other people who will put 100% of their energy into the other parts of your business. And think about how successful you can be. Think about the fact that if you can focus your energies on the one thing you love doing and let everything else go aside knowing that it's taken care of, it's the aha moment. Oh my God, I can go home and spend time with my family after work. I don't have to go home and worry about putting together a press release. You know, when I first read the description about enterprise facilitation, I, I said to myself, no way. You know, this really can't be real. And then I started reading about the successes. The Soroli Institute has instituted enterprise facilitation programs in three continents and I believe 22 countries. I could, the numbers could be a little off. Their success rate over the 22 years of this project I believe is above the 90th percentile. That's nine out of 10 businesses started using this model are successful. And they're not successful because we're your motivator. They're not successful because we tell you how to do it. They're successful because we make sure you're motivated by yourself, by your own drive. We make sure that you have the resources you need and we make sure to build that support network and that management team so that you can be successful. We're there to help you so you don't fall. That's what Soroli is about. Passion, creativity, team building, and community. All those things together are going to help you create a sustainable small business. The key to the team building is looking inside yourself your friends and your family first. I'm not going to tell you what part of that Trinity of Management you fall into. I'm going to teach you about the Trinity of Management. I'm going to talk to you, the entrepreneur, about why it works and then I'm going to put the piece of paper in front of you and turn around and say, what do you love doing? And after we figure out what you like doing, we're going to look to your friends, your family, your co-workers and say, who else do you think would love this project? Where do you think they would fit in this Trinity? If we can't find someone to fill your trinity from within your own circle of influence, what we can do is I'll say to you, listen, I have this mentoring network. With your permission, I can go to them. Like me, they act in complete confidence. Someone, somewhere in this entire region is going to know someone who can help us. And it sounds ridiculous. Why is someone in Polina three hours away going to help someone here in Maupin. I'll tell you why. It's that rising tides. If, if you can be successful in your business, the guy starting his small CPA business, let's say, 
who's eager to go out and work is going to be eager to help you. If he sees your business successful, it means that he then has a client who's successful. Or let's say it's someone who just has a drive to do the same thing that you do, but they don't like working in the shop every day, or they don't like being out servicing the public every day. They like selling. Well, let's let them sell. Let's find those people. And yes, I'm going to help you to find the right people, and we're going to make sure that it's the right person or people for you. This is a relationship. This is like a family. We need to find someone who will work with you to grow your business the way that you as a team decide it should be built.